Welcome back, everybody. So far, we've learned that being compassionate means trusting God to help us be brave, to love others, and even ourselves. And how compassion helps us see and welcome. Today, we learned that compassion means showing gentleness and kindness to our ourselves in heart, soul, mind, and strength. We know God's commandment to love one another, to love other people. One way we understand how to love others is to pay attention to how we feel and what we need to. The temple leaders in Jesus' day were worried about important things like fairness and authority. But Jesus wanted to show them that one way to love God and to love neighbor is by taking care of of our bodies, our minds, and our souls. So let's think about these questions together. What do you need each day? Food? Clothes? Place to sleep? Safety? What else? What does every human being need, do you think? Some of those same things, probably. Everybody needs water that's clean and fresh. Enough food to eat. Yeah, all those things are important. How does knowing what you need help you love God and love others? I know for me, I'm thankful at times knowing what I need helps me give thanks to God for the things that I have. And by knowing what I need, I can also look out when people don't have enough of that in their lives and figure out ways that I can be compassionate and brave and helpful. Maybe that's the same for you. That's the beautiful part of compassion. When we love and care for ourselves, we're being faithful to God. So we'll sing our song again, I Have Love to Share. things together. Loving God and loving others also means loving ourselves. We forget that so much. In the Bible story today, we heard how the people wanted to know how to follow God and to love God. The temple or religious leaders in Jesus' day wanted to teach and help them to follow and love God and their neighbors. 
But here's the problem. Sometimes we get all caught up in rules and expectations, what we're supposed to do in all the right ways. Being a good teacher, Jesus gave people an easy way to remember all these rules. Loving God and loving our neighbors gives us everything we need to be in community. That's what Jesus wants. Love God, love our neighbors. But Jesus also gave us another gift. Being kind and good to ourselves teaches us to love, to love well. We learn how to love God and love others by paying attention to our own needs. Let's end with our compassion prayer. And I'm going to remind you again that it's in coloring form and that that's a new and different way to pray. And some of you will get that more and enjoy that. And, and some will it'll just be coloring, and that's fine. But either case, we hope that it uh, brings you understanding in a different way of what we're talking about. So we're going to pray again with the hand on the head and the heart because we... Uh, because compassion happens in our brains and, and what we decide, but we often feel it in our hearts. Repeat after me, please. Gentle one, thank you for your spirit within us who guides, encourages, and strengthens us. Help us see ourselves through your eyes. with love, kindness, and deep joy. May we love our bodies, treasure our hearts, and celebrate our spirits. Amen. Thank you. This is the end of day three in Compassion Camp. See you tomorrow.